What's going on YouTube? Welcome back Uncommon Sense fam. If you're new to the channel, I want you to take a look around and once you figure figured out that this is a place for you to be, I want you guys to do all three. Like, comment, and subscribe. Every single day something a little different. I've been running all about handling business and whatnot. I haven't really had a chance to do any fragrance reviews, but I want to do one today, even while I'm in motion, because, you know, party don't stop, gotta handle business, you know what I'm saying? So, fragrance I want to review today is Boucheron Per Homme EDP. Boucheron Per Homme EDP, in my opinion, is one of the old school classics. It is a fragrance that I thoroughly enjoy. It has a citric creaminess about it that reminds me of a barbershop fougere. I absolutely really adore this fragrance for the simple fact that it is one of the classics. I really feel like as a fragrance collector or frag head or whatever you call yourself, I definitely believe if you like these types of fragrances, especially the fougeres, you should have the Boucheron Perron EDP, the Eau de Parfum in your collection. Now, I've not smelled the Eau de Toilette, but I will say this, I love the way this fragrance smells on me, and it happens to be my scent of the day. I've had it on for maybe about an hour now, and it's really projecting and really coming up off my skin and showing out, and that's what I like about a fragrance. It's great quality as well. The House of Boucheron is one that I actually enjoy. That bottle is bomb too. See that bottle? glass in a glass and I like that blue jewel tone up top. I really believe and feel like fragrances just because they're a little bit older they tend to get overlooked but that's better for me and better for y'all especially because I'm on common sense and so these may be fragrances you may have not heard anything about and if that's the case I'm very happy because I love to stay putting you on to something fresh and new. With that being said I really feel like you guys should really get into this fragrance. Some of the notes in this fragrance are going to be citrus bergamot it's something creamy in that too i can't necessarily distinguish but add a light you go ahead and put it on there Next. that atomizer is dope too you get a lot of juice when you spray this one it's definitely floral but like i said that fougere part it's kind of got like a very high class citrus shaving cream type of vibe to me this is what i really feel like a gentleman a classy distinguished gentleman smells like however i don't think you can go wrong with when you wear this one i'm wearing it of course in the summertime but I see it being great for fall as well. I don't 100% know about winter. We'll have to give it a try to see how that's going to work. But I feel like this is the epitome of slightly warmer temperatures. You can get some wind and pick it up and spread it around. It's got that distinguished gentleman type of feel. I'm wearing it with a t-shirt, a Jordan hat, and some sunglasses and jeans and sneakers. But I could definitely see dressing this one up too. I don't think you could lose rocking with this one. I really feel like it just it just smells really good. And I feel like people who enjoy a very soapy, creamy, fresh. Fougere will enjoy this fragrance. I don't hear a whole lot of talk about it, but this one did make a few top 10 lists from my channel. And if you haven't watched those, or if you haven't seen those, we're gonna leave a link so you can get into those and check those out as well. And again, this one is gonna lean a little bit more masculine, but I really feel like that does not matter, especially if you like fragrances that are in the barbershop fougere type of family. That's the complexity I like about this fragrance. That's what I really like about the different levels and transitions that the fragrance takes. 
So I really feel like this one is worth a look. If you have not gotten this in your collection, I feel like you're doing your disservice, especially as you establish a better knowledge about fragrances and perfumery. These are some of the fragrances that you need to have in your collection to understand and really have a full grasp on what it means to enjoy the art of perfume. Frag fam, I just wanted to come at you guys today, hit you with a quick video and leave you with a little something to think about just because it is build a old school fragrance or one of the classics, I would definitely say don't sleep on those because they're classics for a reason. They made their way in the fragrance game and they've stuck around and withstood the test of time. Not only that, I feel like fragrances that have been around for some time are worth checking out, especially for a bud and collector because there's a lot of things that get flooded in the market. And the fact that this fragrance is, it ran me about 40 bucks for a 3.4 ounce, 100 mil. I feel like that was a great value for the scent and the fragrance that I actually got. The packaging, the bottle, all of that, it feels very worth the money. It feels extremely, like, I, I honestly feel like I could have paid a little bit more and still been fine. So, you guys know what it is. You know why you came here. We had to get into that thing. And I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Give me a little bit of your time. And I hope you guys are doing well amidst this pandemic, man. And you guys are staying safe, staying fresh. And most of all, be in control of your happiness, man. That's all I can really say. Even when life tries to get you down, be in control of your happiness. Make a choice to be happy. Even if it's a situation that's not ideal, try to make the choice to be happy because yet yeah, still when you choose to be happy, not necessarily with the situation, when you choose to be happy in your life, regardless, everything is going to work out. So it's been your man, Uncommon Sense. I love you from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides and all over. And again, I'm out. Till next time.